guys and welcome to Fantastic Crafts with Allie. This week we're going to be making dragon eggs, so much fun, but first I want to talk about our summer reading program because we only have one week left. So make sure you're turning in your logs. Be sure to get one of these grand prize sheets so you can fill out your top three grand prize choices in case you win. And you can turn in your log and get, again, a cool prize book and a little toy as well. So keep those coming in. We have until Saturday, August 15th to turn those in. So we hope to see you guys here at the library turning in your logs and getting some of those cool prizes. Well, let's go ahead and jump right into our dragon eggs today. Today we're going to be learning about evaporation. So to make our dragon eggs, we're using air dry clay. And air dry clay is water-based, which means that it has water inside of it. In order for that air dry clay to harden, the water has to evaporate out of it, which is why we let our dragon eggs sit for 24 hours after we're done making them. That gives it a chance for all of the water to evaporate out of the clay, leaving just the clay itself, which is hardened and then will be permanent and you can display it proudly. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have in our craft kits today and get started. In your kit, you should have an instruction booklet, two different colors of air dry clay, some sticky jewels right here and here. You'll have a seashell, some beads to decorate with, and some glitter. So we're going to take everything away first except for the air dry clay. And our first step is to open up your air dry clay and kind of get a feel for it. It's kind of hard to get out of the bag, so you can rip it out half and half, or if you'd like to rip the bag, you can do that too. All right, that took me just a minute to get those out of there, but now we have our air dry clay out of the bag, and you wanna just kind of warm it up a little bit with your hands, get a feel for it. It feels a little bit wet, and that is the water that's in the air dry clay that is going to evaporate out of it. So I'm just kneading my clay till I have a nice kind of a sphere, which is a 3D circle or a ball with each one. This is really fun to play with in your hands. It doesn't stick to your hands, the color doesn't transfer and you can squish it and squeeze it really nicely. All right, so now I have my two spheres of air dried clay and our second step is to make a snake out of each of them. So I'm going to roll my clay out until it's nice and long like a snake. And you want it to be a little bit thinner. So I'm going to roll this out until I have about a foot in length, and that will be the right thinness for us, for our snakes. So there's one. And you wanna roll out the second one to be the same length. All right, so those are about the same length, perfect. Now step three, we're going to wrap the clay together. So we're going to pinch the end of one color of clay and the other color of clay together, right here at the tips. And then we're going to wrap them around each other. And this will give us a really nice, oops, a really nice swirl effect when we create our dragon eggs. So you can just kind of hold them and wrap them around each other just like that. Great, and now we wanna push in. And we're just gonna push in so that we create kind of a log again, just like that. Now at this point, you wanna begin forming a sphere. So by pushing in those edges and making sure we don't blend the colors too much, we can get that sphere back. See how I'm just pushing in the ends and that way I keep my multicolored layers. And it doesn't need to be perfectly smooth, but you can keep working it till it is. 
Sometimes dragon eggs aren't perfectly smooth. So I'm just gonna keep pushing until we have kind of a sphere shape. And then we want to create an egg shape out of that sphere. So I'm trying to make mine nice and rounded. An egg is larger at the bottom than it is at the top, so I'm gonna start pinching the top really gently up to a point. You keep molding however is best, however works best for you to get this into an egg shape. I'm using the table to help me out a little bit. And I'm just gonna keep rolling just to make it nice and smooth. All right, I think that's good. So I've got my egg shape now. This is the base of my dragon egg. You can keep working on that step for as long as you want to make a perfect shaped dragon egg, but I'm gonna move on to the next step where we decorate. So we can use some glitter and sprinkle some glitter on. You can press it in. I'm gonna use just a little bit because glitter is really messy. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some on and push it in gently, tap it in. Let's see, I'll roll my egg in it a little bit. Now I would suggest having a tray underneath you if you're going to use glitter, but I'm just gonna clean up my desk afterwards. So this works fine for me. Keep that point at the top so we know it's an egg. There we go. So now I have my glittery dragon egg. I'm going to close this so no glitter gets everywhere. The other cool thing I wanted to show you guys is with the seashell. With the seashell, you can make neat impressions in your dragon egg. So you can kind of texture it all over. Or you can also make scales by pressing in one of the edges. So if you want to make scales all the way around, you can do that. I'm just going to show you on the back of mine really quick. See all those neat scaly shapes that we have on there? You can do that all the way around your dragon egg. And I'm gonna smooth out those fingerprints that I have here. Remember to just kind of try to keep your dragon egg smooth as you, as you work. You might have to remold it a few times. I'm gonna make the top a little bit pointier. Okay, now I'm gonna decorate with a few of these gems. You can just stick them right on and press them in a little bit. And I'm gonna put a few beads in there as well. So again, with the beads, you can just gently push them in so that they stay. And dragon eggs are magical and shiny and sparkly. So the more sparkles and gems that you add to your dragon egg, the better it's going to look. So keep on adding all of those different things and then you'll have your very own beautiful dragon egg. The last step that you want to do is to wait. So you wanna put your finished dragon egg in a cool, dry spot and wait 24 hours for the clay to harden completely. And then you can display it with pride. If you want before you wait for your dragon egg to dry, you can kind of push down the bottom so that it sits up straight just like that. And that way you can display it well.
All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me today as we made our dragon eggs together. I hope that you display yours proudly, maybe along with your fairy house or any of the other cool crafts that we made this summer. And hey, thanks so much for joining in this summer as we created all these fun crafts together. I hope that you learned a little bit about some STEAM and STEM concepts, that's science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. I know I sure did, and I had fun doing it as well. All right, my friends, we will still be doing Take and Make kits for kids, so make sure to come to the library and pick one up each week. We'll have a new one each week, and we're going to continue doing these videos on our YouTube channel. So make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all of our cool crafting videos here at the Rapid City Public Library. Cool, guys. Thanks so much for joining me today. Have a great one. Bye.